So if you're somebody who runs multiple Pi Hole instances, what Nebula Sync is going to do is going to make it into a cluster pretty much. So it's going to sync the config from your primary across your secondaries. You could have multiple Pi Hole servers. So you could have two, three, four, as many as you really want. I think at some point it's probably going to drop off and not really going to have a use for more than that. But maybe you run multiple environments and that's why you might have several different Pi Hole servers. Personally, I run two. My router is an Asus router. It accepts two different DNS addresses. So I do use two different DNS addresses. So if one fails, it can fail over to the secondary, vice versa, or if it needs to load balance, can. My primary, of course, is the primary. It gets the majority of the DNS queries. But sometimes I do need to fail over to the secondary or the router decides to by itself. The issue I always had is that there is teleporter in Pi Hole, but that means that every time I change something or something updates, I need to keep pulling teleporter across. What Nebula Sync is going to do is it's going to take the teleporter config and it's going to push it to all your Pi Hole instances that are in the Nebula Sync group. This isn't a part of Pi Hole. This project is no way associated with it, and they want to make that clear in the doc. But it does seem to be a very efficient way to manage a Pi Hole cluster if you are running one or multiple Pi Hole servers.